Our Aegis Iron Feature Tractor this week is actually two tractors. It's the last of the International Harvester 2 plus 2s that were built, the 7288, the 7488, both owned by Gary Ballard of Marshalltown, Iowa. And Gary, you came in these tractors to farm with. Correct. I mean, you didn't collect them. No, now, no. I farmed the majority of my farming career with, with these, these tractors. tractors. So Gary, did you ever expect that these tractors would be bringing the money they are now at auction? Because collectors are going crazy. Absolutely One is sold not. for 110, I think up to 120, 130 thousand dollars for these tractors. That that was this, both the 72 and the 74. Correct. Uh huh. Did you pay that much for you? Oh no, no. In fact, <laughs> in fact, actually, back when I bought my first uh, 74 88. Um, I was kind of trying, I, I had no idea what, what they was worth, and right. that was back before anybody ever thought they was going to be you needed collectible. The farming I, I needed it as a farming tractor. Yeah. I never will forget, I went to, up to my local dealer, and he says, boy, he says, I don't think any 2 plus 2 would be worth any more than $25,000 today. So your 7488's rather unique because that's the hand-built prototype that's tractor correct. that they had in Hinsdale where they were testing. They, they built that tractor in Hinsdale. It actually came down the, the Rock Island line yeah. as a 5488, the back end of it did. And once uh, it got that part of it assembled, they shipped that out to Hinsdale and they, they hand-built the rest of the tractor off from that. And that was a hand-built uh, 7488 that was actually built back in 1981 whereas the production run of these were actually in August of 1984. So that was hand built at, at Hinsdale. It spanned uh, 739 hours between Hinsdale and the test track at Arizona uh, being tested. And it was tested under different horsepower settings and everything because they had actually had plans to come with, with uh, bigger models of that tractor. And so after Hinsdale, Hinsdale in Arizona, then it ended up at the Nebraska test track, and that was going to be the tractor that was going to be rated under Nebraska uh, test conditions. And it was at Nebraska test track when the merger occurred, of, occurred of K, K, uh, in 1984 yeah. when Tenneco bought International Harvester. The people at the Nebraska test track called the powers to be and said, what are we supposed to do with this tractor? And they said, scrap it. They said, we've got some still at the plant that we're, gonna, that we're scrapping, yeah. scrap it. So they signed off to a salvage yard up in Grand Meadow, Minnesota. But a guy grabbed it from there. Yeah, I grabbed it from it there, intact. farmed with it to till the point when uh, his farming operation was changing and he was going more into confinement hogs and stuff and, and had it for sale. And that's a, when I came across it. So I have to ask, here you're sitting with some of the rarest tractors in the IH line. Are you still farming with them? I've got an 818's moldboard plow. Uh, and if, I, if I'm going to tear up something or if I'm trying to uh, redo a waterway or anything, I'll put the plow on the back of that 7488 and go play with it. And, and, and I, I also like and just tell the boys, it, leave me alone, I'm going to go out. I also like taking it to shows and playing with it, too. Oh, yeah. it's, it's fun to plow with. Well, thanks for sharing the incredible history of these tractors. I'll see you again next week on another Aegis Iron Feature Tractor of the Week. Hi, I'm Dave Mowitz. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit subscribe right here if you haven't already and click that little bell right here to be notified when we post a new video and click here to see more great videos.